gentlemen, start your engines. Hoosiers all across Indiana. Important state right now, the Hoosier state. Well, the Indiana Republican Party. State of Indiana, next on the calendar. Five days now until the primary in Indiana. Good to see all of the candidates focused on Indiana. The Indiana Republican Party. In the state of Indiana, Jeff Cardwell joining us. Joining me now, the chairman of the Indiana Republican Party, Jeff Cardwell. Big, big state. Indiana now has a huge role. Our new NBC News Wall Street Journal Marist poll shows Donald Trump up 15 points there in the Hoosier state. For some analysis, before tomorrow's showdown in Indiana, I'm joined by Jeff Cardwell, chairman of the Indiana Republican Party. Chris Cuomo asked Donald Trump about how he would try to bring these jobs back to America. We have the talent here all across America. We have the talent in Indiana. We've had record-setting job creation by our current governor, Mike Pence, with more than 100,000 net new jobs coming to Indiana since he's been in office. Mike Pence is more than a man who has improved the economy. He's a man of absolute integrity with a strong core set of Christian values that guide him. There is literally nobody who I have relied more on for advice, for encouragement, for support than your governor, Mike Pence. I believe in Republican principles. I believe in the people of Indiana, and I'm going to fight for the future of the people of Indiana. And with your help, we're going to win. This Tuesday's Indiana contest is make or break as Donald Trump, the Republican frontrunner, keeps racking up those primary wins. How much excitement is there in the Republican Party? How much excitement is there in Indiana? I can tell you the excitement. Our phones are ringing off the hook at the Indiana GOP headquarters, something that's unprecedented. It's one of the first times in decades the state has played such a crucial role role for the party's nominating process. About a million Republican voters are expected to turn out at the polls today. About 4,000 people with a history of voting Democrat have switched parties to vote GOP. We're seeing record turnout, and we could set an all-time record for our state for our primary election. Are you seeing significant registration of Republicans as a result of the Trump factor? We're preparing for record turnout. All the candidates coming to Indiana, we are very excited to welcome them here across the state of Indiana. Joining me now is Indiana Republican Party Chairman Jeff Carter. Well, good evening, Chairman. Tell us where the energy is in Indiana. I can tell you there's energy all across our state. It's a very exciting time. Not in my lifetime have I seen so much excitement for an election. We have a 206% increase in early voting over 2012. With me now from Indianapolis is Jeff Cardwell, the Chairman of the Indiana Republican Party. It's going to be a hoop in the Hoosier State. In the state of Indiana, Jeff Cardwell joining us. We're spending a lot of time in your state. Uh, I have to say, personally, I'm a big fan. I'm married to a Hoosier. State of Indiana, Next on the calendar for Democrats and Republicans. Joining us tonight is the chairman of the Indiana Republican Party, Jeff Cardwell. It's good of you to be here. Jeff, welcome to the show. Well, I can tell you, the excitement is incredible. For Donald Trump, today's primary is pivotal. We win in Indiana. It's over with, folks. It's over with. Mr. Trump had a very exciting campaign down in Evansville, Indiana. He had 12,000 people. Bobby Knight, the legend who gives his endorsement to Donald Trump. I think getting Bobby Knight's endorsement was a wonderful piece of great fortune for Donald Trump. I can tell you Bobby Knight is the gold standard for Indiana. You're in basketball country. He is a legend across the state of Indiana. His endorsement will matter. Bobby Knight. The best man to lead the United States back to where we want it to be. It is 7 o'clock here on the East Coast and polls have now closed in all counties in Indiana. Donald Trump is the projected winner of the Indiana primary. I would say that Trump had the momentum coming into Indiana. Donald Trump's events, enormous crowds. Donald Trump scores a major victory in the state of Indiana. Trump is now the presumptive Republican nominee. Indiana will go down in history as the state that made Donald Trump the presumptive Republican nominee. He will be an excellent president and he will beat Hillary Clinton. Exciting time for you you guys in uh, Indiana. Now I think you're going to see people start focusing on November, winning in November. It's time to come together. We are going to come together as a party. We are going to unite and roll our sleeves up and make sure Indiana is the first state on the board to elect a Republican president of the United States of America and re-elect Republican leaders at every level. God bless you, God bless Indiana, and may God continue to shed his grace on the United States of America.